In this video, we are going to create the login page. Create a new file by a call it login.php. Over I just type HTML column 5. This is where the title will go. We change the title to login. Then two vertical pipe Instagram. And also go to file and set it to auto save. Okay. So download the resource file in this video description in order to follow along. Or you can choose to use your own asset if you want. This is the kind of layout that we are going for. This layout is divided into two columns. Each column will be inside its own container. And we'll make everything be inside at one container. So the two columns will be inside one container in order for us to be able to center it appropriately. So over here, first go back to your browser. This is what we have. So just refresh it. So I need to type login.php. So now this is what we have. So now the first thing I want us to work on is to change the icon. I want us to change the icon to favorite icon. So this icon over here, I want us to change it. So over here. Let's type link column favorite icon, which is this one. So the H wrap over here is where the image is being located. That's the H wrap where the image is being located. The image is inside the public folder assets, images, favorite icon, Instagram.ico. So remove this one from here. So this one be public assets images favorite icon and Instagram dot ICO. So there is it. This is what we have. Go back to your browser. Okay. So over here we have session elements. Session over here will give it a class of page container. That's the name of my class. Inside it, we have our main element. And this is what we have. Inside the main element, we have two columns. The left column does contain our slideshow. The right column contain our form element. So over here, let's give this one a class of Page container underscore underscore feature. And inside this one, we also have another div. So instead of calling in div, we can also use session. A div over here stands for division, so I think div is an appropriate one to use for it. So, over here will be div, we'll give it a class of hero. Then, over here, we have another div, it's a class of hero 
underscore underscore image so this is what we have then outside the email but still inside the page container underscore feature we have another div the class of so instead of calling it div you can use asco because it's an independent and stand on its own the form element where it can stand on its own so let's give it an article with a class of what this is a right column so instead of this one we can choose to give it column dash one and column two is it and this one will page container so this one over here can be called row yeah and this one will be the email underscore image right okay or email, email image so this one let's call it email image I think yeah that's it so inside the article we have the form so this is our form form okay, so this is what we have inside the form what do we have we have the logo as the instagram logo this is what we have the instagram logo so this one will be a div. We'll give it a class of what? Sites logo container. It's up to you the name that you want to give to this class. And inside this is our image tag. Then this one why the source where the image is being located. That's the logo. The logo is inside the Instagram dot that's images logo images dot ng. So this one will be it's inside the public folder. So this one will be public assets images logo then image dot. Then we'll give it an alt. The alt over here is the description of what the image is about this one the alt over here specify the description of what the image is about so this one will be instagram logo it's up to you the name that you want to give to this one right then outside this one but still inside the form element we have the input element is what we have we have the input so over here we just type input the type with s then this one will give it a place order so the place order over here we are now allowing the user to enter phone number in order for the user to log in we are just allowing the user username or email that's what we are allowing the user to do so over here will be email or username and this one let's give it a class of form so this one over here we'll give it a class of form dash dash input that's the form input element that's what we are giving to it a class of form input element then we give it a name field the name field over here is what we use to get the input value in php for now don't forget about it so this one over here will be email underscore username that's the name field that we are giving to it then copy this one and paste it again the second one is what 
the password right the password so this one type test so this one the type will not be in test no we don't want it that way if you type in something as you can see over here it's not plain text so we need to change it so the type over here will be password and this one to the place order not be email or username the place order will be password and the name field over here will be also password I uh, realize that there is something here for show. Show or hide the password. As you can see why this is just some functionality. So we need to add it to it. So in order for us to do that, I want to wrap this one inside another div. So cut this one from here. So we have div. With a class of password wrapper or container container yeah. then put this one here give it an ID so that I'll be able to target it using JavaScript so give it an ID of password okay this is it and over here we we'll also give it a span and the span over here will be show that's for the default default is show and over here we we'll give it a class of show underscore hide underscore s yes. and we we'll also give it a keza as pointer this one is just a utility class that we can use and why to give it an id of show underscore hide underscore password okay that's cool so let's go back to our browser okay this is what we have now which is looking nice so now the next now i want us to work on is this one the button this one so still inside the form element outside the password container we have a button element so this one why we can choose to use the input element of button by I, I think that is a button so we should use button rather so the button over here we'll give it a class of just button right then as a dash pointer and we'll give it a type be submit because it's a form so we want to submit something then the name over here we we'll use PHP to target it so this one will be submit button and the test why will be login so it's up to you it's what you want to place here over here is login right so login over here and we have a separator as you can see this one is just a separator okay so there is it so we need to do it so this one will be a separator so we also have another span it's a class of separator separator yeah and this one be all and we have another link for now it's not going anywhere but this link over here is the forgot password this one forgot password so we'll give it a class of password underscore reset so it's up to you the name that you want to give to it so this one we forgot password is it and 
outside the form element, but rather still inside the article, as this one. But outside the form element, we have this one. This one over here is a footer. That's a form footer. So this one over here will be a footer. Footer. Footer over here will give it a class of form footer. Form dash dash footer. And we have a, a so this one we don't have an account then a link click on this one it's a link sign up it's a link so use an a tag then the h of over here will be register so you can choose to call it anything that you want register and this one will be sign up Let's go back to our browser. Okay, so now this is what we have. So we have been able to draw the skeleton for the login page. In the next video, we are going to style it so that it looks nice.